this is this, this just an MBA. Is there any way I could go see him at the funeral home before the funeral because I got I'm going to be out of town? Mm -hmm. And they could have said no. You know that's we you know yeah sorry you got to either miss it or whatever. And they were like yeah you can do that. And they said only mm -hmm. you and Suge because they know we were we are gangsta. They dressed him up real nice. I talked to, to Judge Elam and said thank you for giving me a son to give me a career. And you know it was just sacred. Even the even the funeral he was there. Uh, but we we were all there. Jay Ruth Damage, everybody came down. We, we and we all ate together. Everything, you know, it was, it was a good vibe. And his father again, who did, doesn't trust anyone, he was like, "Hey, I want you and Shug to speak at the funeral." And we did, you know. And we didn't write it on paper. We just went up in front of everybody and just spoke from the heart. And I cracked a couple jokes, and and and, and, I, and I didn't have to set it up like, okay. When I speak at this point, I'm gonna say mm -hmm. a joke. I just let it run off, and and after it was over, all, a lot of his family were coming up to me, going, "Young man, you were really, really funny, and you made us see other sides of what we didn't see with the rap thing." You know, these are older people, and mm -hmm. they were like, "You were really good." Everybody like, was a scholar from somewhere. Yeah. Like, all his whole family was like, "This one wrote two books, ten books. This one is a professor. This yeah. one is this. like everybody in his family that was there was some lawyers and all yeah. these mm -hmm. high esteemed people." You know, who is really intelligent? Yeah, man. You know, but you gotta always remember one thing: things don't have to be reproven when they're official. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, once it's that, it's that. You know, the fans, the fans get to look through a window. Once you show them the picture, you know, that's real. You don't have to keep reproving it and redoing it. You know, they a lot of times people will say, "Well, I didn't, I didn't see it." It doesn't matter what you saw. That's your fact. If you're late for class, they're not going to do another course for you. Right. So you either get there when it's supposed to be seen, you know. And then you, know, you got to also remember too, this was a big world we live in. So stories flip a hundred times over, and there's always falsehoods and lies mm -hmm. along the way. People have to keep their lives moving, man. I saw him in the hospital. I, 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 I mm. it, it took a man to get. Got to say your goodbyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad I got to go in there. And two of my homies that have been running with us from day one were there as witnesses. So it's not like I'm lying. And why make it up if I couldn't get in? I couldn't get in. I saw him. I touched mm. him. I kissed him. You know, say I rubbed his body. I knew he was gone already. He was brain dead. Mm. You know, but I got to get in there and just mm. say my goodbye for the moment of true CD in there because I, I know that was his most important album mm -hmm. and boom you know that's all I need because mm -hmm. I knew he wasn't coming back yeah. and, we, and we, we, we rock and try to keep his name in a positive light yeah, so always. we feed that to the people every night you know Guru and I had a great mm -hmm. relationship and there was times he made me angry we were like brothers and especially when you live on the road for so long oh, yeah. with a guy so you know you know out of this whole solar thing it doesn't mean anything it means that there was a point in his life that you know he he got sidetracked mm. to doing things that didn't include the guys that he knew best. Mm. So I mean, you take it as that and you move forward. Yeah. Everything else doesn't mean anything. You you hold on to the good memories and you keep it moving. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, Guru loved to drink, so <laughs> he, we would just drink, 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 drink. <laughs> Guru's, a, when he's a, Guru's a happy drunk as long as you don't say something to piss him off, and he's cool. But but you say one thing, like, hey man, that song you did the other day was whack, he'll go, what? I'll fuck you up, you know? But otherwise, he's so happy, and we were in a happy environment, so it was just drunken happiness and good music, and, and, and had some good smoke. He's happy, and he's in a good place now, he's away from all evil. Mm. So. We're, we're, we're good, man. Gang, Gangstar ain't going nowhere.